be. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I'll just step out of the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drug shit is doing. deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Way, old boy. I 
figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor! Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. watched a vet saw a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know. But please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Big B, Snow. Take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. I hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? 
Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating at other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but... I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the... Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not! Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, baby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the Puddin' and Pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. 
You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, baby. if it'll work anyway. Sometimes, well, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. making any sense. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... 
I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. Not just my friends. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. Wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? to go. That was abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, I guess it's the best we've got. Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? have other matters to attend to. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it 
るんです。What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or、uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been. Surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Figures. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Are you going to tell you're going to make a problem out of this? What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into the feast. Talk about living in the past. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Finish this later. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say: centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place—it looks、uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man, and I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances, we're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you. Only if you tell me what I need to know, and that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like? Hi there, you've reached Beauty and Beast, and we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just、uh... a day at the beach. Are you gonna get that? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get. Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really, I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Fine, I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby, wait. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally, all I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. 
The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, I'm scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Bigby... So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Come 
Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Plank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know about the deliveries. What's going in and out of here? Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? What was in that one? I've seen them before. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. a long time ago. Crew. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big B Wolf. Shh. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear. 
swear I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Morning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. And if you hadn't warned them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. making magic, anti-greenleaf, and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. The slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear now. Oh yeah? Oh. Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. I get my head. Crooked bastard. I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got in some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? really think this is going to be all right? With all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Jersey 
don't, don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... This is my Jack, what the fuck is going on? I'm you I'm the guy just gonna... Shit. I'm the guy that makes shit. You know, and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my... So get the fuck out of my sight. Pitch bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking house. Did this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? I don't fuck the wider. Listen, you fool, dipshit. You're gonna be... You piece of shit. Damn you. No way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. hey. Back out, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here, fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. <laughs> That's it? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You can't be. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking life. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Just go on. Get great shit and go. 
Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Rain's coat. No time for travelers, Jackson. He won't be needing this anymore. That sick piece of... The Shard. It's the Shard. Finally. Sheriff, those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White... Oh, Sheriff Bigby has returned. Bigby! Listen, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Did you call me, dog? Get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pond. But he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. Some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. 
Maybe she had Ah, some... yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. Here, Crane will be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Tom. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. Deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. Looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay?
Okay. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way, look. This is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone... like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have him. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Is it gonna get ugly in a minute? Leave. I told you. I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks.
Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Somebody's ass. I heard stories about you. In the old days, you picked up those men. squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh well.